guys jtech here bringing you guys a brand new video now in today's video what we are going to be doing is i'm going to be talking about what my favorite maps are in the call of duty franchise so the games that i'm gonna range to are, i think are gonna be like mw2 to probably bo2 so all of the games in between those which is only two others but the reason why i'm doing these is because they're not like freaking ghost aw or bo3 where you know it's like exo boost and everything because everybody loved the classic call of duties where there was it just boots on the ground and there was no like boost even though ghost was boots on the ground there still wasn't that many good maps in it just for the reason because the maps were big and i mean just in general nobody liked them at all but to start off with mw2 now mw2 was a huge game it was really fun for trick shotters just really fun to mess around on because it was you know modern warfare you know everybody loved modern warfare you just messed around on it anytime you wanted to so in my opinion some of the best maps that were actually on mw2 were some things like afghan rust of course that was huge for trick shotters and then like terminal and wasteland those were some of the best maps in my opinion on mw2 i was so hyped whenever we got on those maps oh and one one other map that i forgot to mention and what this was my absolute favorite map on the game and that was high rise dude i got so hyped whenever that map came on the voting section and i always voted for it and, you know it always got picked it was just you know obviously like one of the best maybe if not the best map in the game moving on to bo1 so some of my favorite maps in bo1 would have to be probably firing range Havana, obviously Nuketown, this was the first ever Nuketown that was ever made, and then Villa. Those were, you know, some of my favorite maps on BO1, and also Summit. The reason why I like these maps is because they were very simple, and you didn't really have a hard time, you know, maneuvering around the map. Like, it was like these maps weren't too small, or, you know, they weren't too big. So then the next game that we actually have, and this was probably my favorite Call of Duty of all time, man. I just had so much fun on this game. I'd immediately hop on MW3, either playing multiplayer or custom games infected with other people that we met online with my friends. And I don't know, it was just in general probably the one of the most fun Call of Duties that I've ever played. So some of the maps that I really liked on that were Hard Hat, you know, Terminal, that was a remake from, you know, MW2. And then I also kind of liked Resistance. Not that much, but it was kind of fun. Um, you know, Arcaden was pretty good, I guess. And, you know, there weren't any other maps that were, you know, that good, except Dome. I mean, Dome, to be honest, I didn't like Dome that much. I just thought that people played it way too much, and it was just, like, you know, way too easy to kill people on. And it was just, you know, set up for campers. You know, they just sit on the catwalk the whole time and just knock them down and just, you know, be up there with snipers and everything. And it was really annoying. So next up, we have BO2. The, my second favorite Call of Duty of all time, probably. And I also played on this game so much. After BO2 came out, I just hop on this game, you know, just do whatever. I'd mostly play multiplayer. It was probably the game that I got the highest percentage prestige on other than bo3 because i'm a prestige master now and i was not a prestige master on bo2 but it was probably the game where i did the best on like i had the best kd i just had the like you know the best gun skill i had in like other call of duties so some of the best maps in my opinion on bo2 would have to be like hijacked obviously express was pretty good i liked express standoff was amazing of course raid dude raid was just oh my god no wonder they made a remake of raid and bo3 because man that map was just so amazing and then obviously also nuketown which i mean in my opinion nuketown 2025 was a lot better than the other nuketown and also a dlc map that i really liked on this game was studio studio the remake of firing range i love that map dude every time i was in a game of studio man i just had the most fun ever like like after aw came out like i played that a lot too but after aw came out i mostly just like trick shotted and quick scoped on bo2 too. and studio was one, was one of the best maps for me on that and i just love studio for that 
for the simple reason that, you know, back in the day when I actually liked doing that kind of stuff, it was just so fun. And also, this was pretty cool. I don't think I ever told anyone this except my friends, but me and my friend Matt, we actually met Phase Adapt on Studio. You know, I tried to record it. My Elgato was just messed up that day. Dude, I was cursing so much that day just because, like, I could not get my freaking Elgato to work. Like, I don't know. That's all I'm gonna say. It was really messed up, and I just couldn't record it, but that was fun, man. All right, guys. I think that's gonna wrap up this video. I thought this was a fun video to do just because, you know, with all of these new Exo Boost games and everything, you know, it's fun to look back at the games that you used to play that were boots on the ground and think like hey i used to play these games and i've had some fun memories on these from you know the other maps that i played before but yeah guys i think that's gonna wrap up this video so if you guys like the video make sure you go leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new and yeah guys that's pretty much for me peace out